first. A. Hi at Dejerald. So at Dejerald. Please go check out Dejerald at https colon slash slash twitch dot tv slash d e a d g i r l b b hyphen give them some love. They were last playing Song of Horror. Hey. Hey guys, how you guys doing? I know it's been a long time. It's been a minute. I really don't have an excuse for not streaming. Besides, you know, elbow hurting, all that, whatever, but still. It has been a minute. Yeah, but uh, not much. Just, I accidentally bought this game because I had it in my cart and I was just looking at it. And I was like, Sometimes you just need a little break. True, true. Actually, that's kind of good. I didn't get that. Yeah, so I had this game in my car because I was going to buy it like next payday. And I totally forgot I have it because in the cart. So I went to go buy something else and I accidentally just hit, you know, buy and totally forgot it was there and it was ready too late. So I bought this game. It wasn't too expensive. It was just like. 20 bucks, I believe. Uh, it's not a very long game either. It's like six hours, but there's a lot of exploration and stuff like that, which, you know, I love exploring. So, I only, what I know about it is that their world, in this world, it's about to get destroyed or something. So, this girl comes around the world documenting stuff. Uh, like for the history books or something, so they won't re they won't forget. But besides that, I really don't know too much about the game. But it was intriguing, and I got, saw a lot of good reviews on it. So we're just gonna jump in and see how this goes. And hopefully it's good. And if it's not that good, well, to me, I'll just hop back on like GTA or something. But we're just gonna see how it goes, cause you know. It could be the best game in the world for other people, but it doesn't mean it's going to be the best game for yourself. So. Okay. I'll make sure the subtitles are always on because they don't do that. Or do they really, really do that? Uh, thank you. I'm excited because I've never heard of this. Dude, yeah, it look it's despite the art style and the way it looked, it just intrigued me so much. I like it even got advertised a little bit, but not too much. Please, can more games have this subtitles kind of feature? Look at that; they show you how big it is, how it's gonna look. I'm a sucker for a good art style. Yeah. Sound effects, no. subtitles, large. You want it large. Extra large. Oh, oh, no, no, no. That's too large. Too large. 
Yeah, let's do it. Alright, alright. We're, we're, let's go. We're going to mess with this thing. So much. Let's go. Who are you? Who are you? I don't know, but I'm writing to you anyway. Where are you? How far in the future? Where'd you find my journal? I may never know, but you can know me from what I put down on these pages. I come from a little village in the mountains. No one has left here since before I was born. But our lives changed overnight, just a few days ago when my best friend had a prophetic dream. A vision that the Elder said means this season is going to end soon. The world oh. is about to enter a Look new at that hair. A great change is coming. Oh. Everyone was afraid. That, I, I was not expecting that face. Questions and I began to feel that's, how that's little I know. That's the face. What is this season that is about to end? And why is it ending? What exactly is out there that could turn the world inside out? If there are still voices singing and laughing in the wilderness, I could record them before they're gone. I also thought of my dad, who always wanted to see the outside world but never did. So, I asked if I could leave. The Elder had one condition for letting me go. But I take what I collect to the museum vault, a palace of art and memory at the edge of the earth. She says it's the only place safe from the turmoil of a changing season. I hope that's where you're reading this now. Now we found your journal in the library. I can't stop the change that is coming, but this time on earth could live on in these pages. What it looks like, sounds like, how it feels to be alive right now. I'm writing to you at the crack of dawn Jeez. on the morning I leave she home. Better than I, do. I can smell breakfast I cooking stuff. in the other room, and I can hear my mom's voice. She be writing. She be writing, yes, yeah, she be writing. Alright, so in the past seasons, a letter to the future, a village in the mountain, Pet Petty's dream, the season's going to end. Dad at the museum vault this morning. I leave home. Right. We just choose one. Okay. Olden days unknown. Season of Montagne. Uh, season of. Uh, Where to the future? Who are you? I don't know. Oh, this is what she was talking about. Earlier. Okay, I guess this is what she written down and was talked about earlier. And this is where we leave. Alright. Cool. So honestly when I first saw this I thought it was a guy. It's a female, so you know. Which is awesome. I like that. What's this? Can I follow? Ring. Why does that sound so soothing? Pull the string. I was about to say that. Three, so soothing. Two, yeah. One. Hooray! Mr. Lotto's here. That's scary. If you gave your child this fucking dog fucking shit, you don't love your child. That was the most bland thing I ever heard in my life. Hello. A catalog of strangers. Fearsome tales of 
Elise Children? Okay. Oh no. A catalog of stranger strangers is a introduction of more frightful aspects of the world. A reasonable amount of fear and fun. Make for prudent children. What? What? Can I read it? No? I can't, I can't even open it? Oh. I kind of want to read this. this. This seems interesting. Look at that. Look at the cover, too. Okay. What else we got around here? Ceramic animal. There's some writing on it. Hope you like him more than you would have liked a fish. That okay. tape. Oh, that's cool. We got a blue ribbon. First place. What you win first place by? What did I say? Wandering Tail Festival, 1872. You got some origami? The only origami I ever could make was a cup. I could never make anything else. And this is a picture of family. Look at that. Night Nightlife La La the Plaza. That's what I was supposed to say. No, nightlife in the plaza. I just say it looks like it says law. Night life in law the plaza. Put it back. And then she did a sketch. I want. Oh, no, I got it. Dad, back. Uh, I went out for a climb. Be back this evening. I cut my climb. Maybe law for Spanish. <laughs> oh, what we got here? What's this? It's That's pretty though. Got jewels on there? An old bill. Why does it look so fake? We're just exploring everything. Okay, we can't go there. Let's go to the other room before we head out. Never mind, we just we just leave. Absorb the moment. Study the scene. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Mom. You're up. It's gonna be a beautiful morning. I'm making progress. Found the burner, camera, recorder, travel bag. Breakfast is in progress. Still gotta make a pendant. We haven't used this in so long. Good thing I saved the instructions. Just as you would use a shield to protect your body, an identity pendant protects your mind. Your thoughts, memories, Everything that makes you, you. We don't wear them here in the village anymore. But if you're going into the outside world, I'll feel better when you've got a pendant shielding you. Shield against what? The diseases of the mind. What kind of world are you living in where you get diseases of the mind? Like the dream sickness. What is this? Where's the dream sickness come from? Where the pendant come from? Yeah. You don't know what caused it. You heard people. She diseased. She diseased. <laughs> Sorry, fell into a turn. Oh, okay. Animals, oh. And half of them turned out to be true. In times of war, a pendant can be used to identify a body. <sighs> Let's skip that part. Objects have two layers: the physical. And the mental. Okay. The pendant needs to absorb both. Mm -hmm. 
One, collect a sentimental object for each sense. Sound, smell, feel, sight, taste. Two, feel the sense and speak aloud a memory of the object. Three, feed the object into the burner. The memory will leave the speaker as it is transferred to the pendant. That means I'll forget the memory after I say it. It's supposed to be painless, at least. Can I do it then? And I lose the, me this, the memory instead? No, you must remember everything. That's your role. Okay, so. This old tape should work for our sense of sound. I remember. You and I fell asleep listening to this tape. Where that came from? We all rested together until it got dark. Disappearing. The empty space fills itself back in until I forget that I forgot anything at all. <sighs> so the mom is losing all the memories. I'm memory. glad I'm only losing a few memories. If I lost too many, I wouldn't even know who you are. You should pick the rest of the objects. Oh. I'll lose the memories, but you'll have them in the pendant forever. So they should be important to you. They should be parts of your identity. You want to be sure. She got dementia. So think about what these items. And what I'm getting at is, you. I, I guess the pendant that we're making. Let's do smell next. Like, I guess, whatever memory we burn in that little container, she loses, but our character remembers it all. Strong odor. Find an object with a and strong that holds a piece of you. Okay. Alright. Alright. Let me find something that smells. What is it? Granite. Seaside. Darkness. This speaks to how my mom loves me. No, we'll leave that. We need something with smell. We need to smell it. Smell, smell. What do you got here? Ginger drink? Spoon. A ginger beer? Childhood. Too sweet, too old. I always ginger wanted beer. to experience new things. Body aches, congested, blocked na na nasal cavity, uh, hot ears, upside down stomach disorder, flight of fancy, disrails dorsal inflam. Inflammation, spastic, melancholy, loud dreams, pawnfoot, wandering tingles, moonburn, and birthdays. I don't even know half of that shit. Right. There's nothing to smell here. Okay. okay, okay, we got some dried flowers. And candy. Ancient perfume, sweet. We might do Nothing the is ever lost. Yeah, I might do the flowers, but let's still check around. Whoa! Oh, it's just a portrait. I don't think we got anything that smells over here. My bag and Dad's camera, ready for the great departure. I think it's going to be the flowers. Can I burn this? Tangled nest. Can I, can I burn that? Slave. It doesn't even have to go. This speaks though. to how my dad loved me. This, this, is, this is what your dad gave me. Alright, we'll go with the dry flowers. That's the only thing I can smell. 
concept. Black flowers. Selecting the What did you choose for smell? These dry flowers. Let's breathe in deep. Your dad used to bring these flowers home from his climbs. They only grow high up in the mountains. He was a great climber. He even found us a new source of water. I hoped after he would climb less, maybe even retire. But he always wanted to explore, and the only direction to go was up. Maybe the Elder is letting you leave out of guilt for what happened to your dad. Well, if someone has the, the energy to leave, it needs to go somewhere. He fell into the Fitz Ravine. Yep. He never found his body. But doesn't he rest with us at night? Doesn't he appear in our dreams? How can such a human being depart this earth without leaving behind a trace? A trace as strong as the flowers would still have their scent. Darling, I don't want to lose this one. I can't lose this one. Can we put the flowers back, please? For you, mother. Thank you. I'll do it. For you, mother. Yes. Yes, I'll leave that be. I will leave that be. Alright, so we need to find something else, just else. We got anything? So far. Alright, so we You know what? I'm gonna go with the ginger beer here. Can we take this one? Give me the ginger beer. What did you choose for smell? Will this work? Let's breathe in deep. This ginger drink has been in our family for generations. And you. As soon as you were old enough to talk, you said, let's drink it. It's hundreds of years old. Like you already wanted to experience something different. Well, we all had one horrible sip. But boy, we laughed. What would we do without you? What will we do without you? I think she was okay with that. Now touch. Pick something with the texture you like. Mm. Now that. Now the bell's gonna stay. Something with touch. Touch, touch. Aggressive, mm -hmm. delicate, mineral. This music is a vibe, but it's gonna put me back to bed. <laughs> no. Hey, why, why do you think I'm drinking some fucking Dr. Pepper right now? <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out. Alright, something touch on. I feel like I'm gonna go with this one here. Oh, yeah. Hand. This speaks to how my mom loves me. I'm gonna give this one a go, but I feel like she's probably gonna be like, "Oh, I don't want this memory to go away." Which so is. So what did you end up? I got a DR know. pepper, strawberries, and cream in the fridge already. Nice. I got yeah. I bought like two bottles before I streamed today, so yeah. yeah all right. Let's see if you okay. okay with giving Put up your this hand moment. in the hand. Oh, I remember it so well. It's not as bad now, but in the old days. Not many children live long enough to grow up. We believe if a child can make it to the age of nine, they'd be all right. Gee. This print was made of your hand when you turned nine. Your father and I couldn't believe we really had a healthy girl. An old deep fear inside of me finally went away. 
and we saw you would just keep growing and growing, that everything was going to be okay. I guess the flower is the one that was really important, really strong. I might do that first, you know, on my own time, do a tech playthrough, see if that does anything. We can stop. I'm fine. You sure? Let's do sight mix. Pick something that, that looks nice. She looks like she's just not even like losing memory, but she looks like she's dying. Right. Uh, something that looks. Oh, also, I'm editing a video, so I'll be here. I'll just be lurking. That's Gucci. Can't wait to see the new video. This gives me life is strange vibes. Same. Yes, I feel it. I might go with the photo, the sketch, let's see. Let me see. No, I don't want Let's do the Add by my though. hand. I remember who my dad was. Let's see this one. So, what did you end up choosing? I remember your dad sitting a long time while you did this portrait of him. But you spent most of the time erasing, getting it down to fewer and fewer details. He's been gone for years now. And yet, when I look at these lines, I remember what he was like around the house. The way he moved, danced, and laughed. You really captured him, his way of being, his soul. What is a force in the world that makes everything go away? How could a few lines on a scrap of paper resist it? For how long? You were so young when you learned that the love in our lives is not constant. People are never replaced. They just go. We see them in these lines. Until the lines go too. So we got our thing. For taste, we can eat breakfast and feed some to the burner. The memory I'll lose is the one you're forming right now. I wanted to have it forever. <sighs> Standing here, you're having a last taste of home. Now you're protected by lost memories. A gem of home around your neck. This is my only condition for letting you go. You must promise me never to take the pendant off. And never tamper with it. Okay? Of course, Mother. Then I'm okay with you leaving. I think your camera and bag are still in your room. It's time to gather them up. I love you, Mother. You're amazing. That's not where I wanted to go. Right. Pick up tools. Yeah, let's go. Let's get this journey started. lost so much. How could the world ask me to lose you too?
Look at us. There we are. There we were. We'll always be right here on this beautiful morning. I just performed a ritual with my mom. The moment has passed, but I'll record it in these pages for you for the future. All right, so these are all our keepsakes that we took. Oh, I can put it right there. Picture of my mother. And for the sketch of dad. That's cool. You get to make your own kind of like a little scrapper kind of shit. That's pretty cool. Um, pendant. I wonder, can I, can I make it look like it's... Like That's it? really cute. Oh yeah, I like that. And it looks like she has a pendant. That's cool. So you can put it anywhere you want. Put that on this page. And then... Oh. That, I, I love that. I knew when my mom would share a memory of dad while cooking on a walk with no warning. It knocked the wind out of me. Rituals take this grief and give it a shape and a story. Filling in this journal is a ritual too, but for a loss that hasn't hit us yet. I put this here somewhere. Just gotta add it to the thing. All right, let's roll. I've brought tools. To record the sights and sounds of this season, I'll start by recording the only place I've ever known. We have plenty of fresh water here. I wonder if it's more scarce in the outside world. Last night there was a goodbye party here in the plaza. Talk water be loud low. I know, right? <laughs> wow, that's To understand that fear, to understand where I grew up, you have to know the man standing watch over the plaza, Dr. Fumio. Let's get a little closer. This is Dr. Fumio and his son. The statue isn't as old as it looks. The artist wore it down to give it a feeling of ancientness and the authority that comes with it. Dr. Fumio and his son founded Cairo back in 776. They live on through our traditions. There are three murals celebrating Dr. Fumio's work. Remembering everything must be painful. Dr. Fumio brought peace to so many people here. 
Well, there's three different murals that we're looking for. I got one right now. I think that's, a, that's also something I need to fix with. Oh, wait, that's audio recording. Oh, God, that's loud. This is a Jesus by Dr. Fumio. It draws on the pure mountain air. Dude, look, look how pretty that is. Look at that. Just look at that. I guess their village is getting destroyed or something. That's a, that's a lovely view. With the sun. Look at that. Right, let's go find these other ones. Oh, here's one. Rip Dr. Humo, dream sickness, dream on. Dream on. Dr. Fumio said the dream sickness was caused by something very powerful. He wasn't able to cure it. Carol Village is nice if you're a child or an old person. But for those of us in between, I need to leave. Caro Cafe, music and poetry tonight. This is the cafe where my dad used to read his poems. He wrote one for me. Maybe he wrote it for you too. Looking for other music. This. I wish I could tell you more about this poster, but I never thought to ask what it means. Now we'll both Here never you. know what it means. Oh well. We march the day Dr. Fino cure the misperception disorder. The memory of Augusta. The elder sought out Dr. Fumio to cure her mother, who was suffering from time misperception. Time perception. Oh, I think we got everything. There we go. We are complete. Dr. Fumio was an important person, but we also just have a need to put a human face on events that are beyond our control. He may have felt just as scared and helpless as everyone else. That's cool, we're gonna add a little change. Gucci. Alright, how the fuck do we get out of here? This way? Fishing here with my best friend Pate, even though there's nothing to catch. 
We both appreciate the silence. A village that was created as a place to heal. Is that where my instinct to try to help comes from? It's so strange to imagine I'll be shaped by places and people I haven't met yet. So strange to imagine that I might feel at home somewhere else. A village that was created as a place to heal. Is this where my instincts are trying to help us come from? That's cool, so you can add little, little quotes and stuff that you... Uh, okay. Oh, that one. Okay, that there. Bam! Alright. Move on. What I know about this, there's you really have to look at uh, when you for really look at stuff in detail. You never know. Something that you need. Caro Village was founded during the modernity. Take a picture of that. Flower means you're in my thoughts. The morning after the search was called off for Dad, our doorstep was covered in them. The ruins in the distance were used to make us afraid of the outside world. Dangerous and impossible to reach, they said. Okay, so triangle, so we forward squares to take pictures. Is it recording? Yes. Okay. How to leave home for my daughter. Find a sacred square of earth. Lay down, so you have the dirt at your back. Close your eyes. Close everything. Do you see for yourself? You see for the dead, for the unborn. Do you listen for yourself? You listen for the dead, for the unborn. Your ancestors are in that dirt. All the living and all the dead are holding you up. Now stand. They're still there, aren't they? It's time to move, to entangle yourself everywhere with everyone. So the next time you lay down in the dirt, you will have so much more to tell them.
It's actually very gorgeous though. Look at that. Exploring the world. Well, actually, we're not out yet. Hello? Anyone here? Oh, we're not here. Bikes. These bikes were used by messengers a long, long time ago. Pate fixed up three bikes instead of one. So, do we get to choose the bike? Uh, I kind of like that one. The blue one's cool, too. Let's go. Let's go out here. Blue, yellow, pink. I don't know the blue one. I like the light baby blue color. I, oh wow, this is how we, okay. You have to alternate to ride a bike, just like how you ride a bike. Wow, look at that. That's pretty. Oh god. Woo. The irony of Cairo is that it's a closed off place on the outskirts of a busy trading hub. A postal hub we hardly used is practically on our doorstep. Ah, oh, friend, why trust me around the Azen Island? I feel like I walk, I'm walking tipsy on edge of the earth, we're skipping from island to island. Uh, the way stone skips along the surface of the water, leaving little ripples, like a kiss or two, or I don't know, I just miss you today, today and today, XOXO, you know, you know, you know who, uh, Nico Alves, the 500, Luke Prison that with us? Mm. 
Greetings from Tegan Valley. Hey, guess where I'm at? Where I am? I hope you look at uh, this side first. I have to pay my respects to the birthplace of Munchen. Munchen. There is a lot of tourists, but also a weird feeling to the to the to the place. I would take me. I would take me more than a Coast Guard to explain. Take care. I'll do it. Check that one. And we got one from Harold. Don't bother trying to visit Cairo Village. It simply isn't the, that kind of location. Uh, this village was very hard to find, but if you really need it, somehow you'll make your way there. I just want to let you know that I'm staying here for good. Uh, this season can only meet, meet a violent end. It's too bright, too cheery. Stay safe, Conrad. I can see in these letters that the outside world has extremes of beauty and tragedy beyond anything I've known. I feel nourished in these sights by the unfamiliarity of it all. These means of connection, long in disuse, are certainly telling me something about the world. Will they be used again in the next season? Dear Esdale, I'll be I'll be surprised if, if this letter reaches you. The war has become like a deranged sleeper trash, trashing in bed. Eyes closed tight. I notice how the soldiers strip people of their clothes first. Uh, a smaller durations which permit everything that followed. I wish I had love, loved you more completely when the world allowed it. Love or death. That you were right. The letter never made it. The season before this one. Is this illegal? Because we're not allowed to the letters. Dear Cornelius, I thought it's over, and I have to tell you the name you picked. For your baby, it's terrible. <laughs> please do not go. Do not. Please do not go forward with it. I pray your letter reaches you in time. Yours, Dorina. That poor baby. Please get this to Doctor Fumo. I am suffering from a memory excess, but cannot travel to the village for treatment. I was praying you could instruct me by mail how to cure myself of the disease. I am, I am, a, I am unable to forget now uh, 
I am unable to forget. Now I realize how important it is to gain open space in the mind. Tell me what to do. Tell me how to forget. Please, get this letter to Dr. Fino. Before setting up in Cairo Village, Dr. Fumio roamed the land curing people. It must have been hard when he wasn't around anymore, especially for people who couldn't travel to the village. Traders used to come to the outskirts of the village. The war put an end to this. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna sketch that. Look at that. humans had evolved to sing instead of talk. Okay, I think we got everything we can get from here. Let's move on. I heard that village was abandoned because of a mind disease. Not every community had someone like Dr. Fumio to perform cures. In the village, these cranes look like little creatures, grazing. I had no idea how huge they are. Oh, now we begin. Yeah, we biking now. What a view. I know. What I was going to say. Hello, Froggy. Now I got a picture of you. If we were doing this, if this was like real life thing, I think we'll have we'll do more film than what we got. I'll be taking pictures of everything. What the fuck? What the, what the fuck? Do we have to... Can, is it too deep? It's far too deep. We gotta go the other way. This way. Can go here? Is that... Is that a goat? Oh, look at it! Look at it! Oh! 
Ooh, baby mom. Hello. We learned about old technology in school, but not much about animal. Yes. The first time petting an animal. I think it went pretty well. There's another one. Hello? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Right. Mm, that time it felt off. I guess I had beginner's luck before. 10 out of 10. Make the pet go. Okay, now I got it back. I'm in control. I can easily pet certain four legged animals. All right, guys, enjoy your lovely grazing. This would be, uh, you know, besides the whole world having to click with these, this would be a cool bike ride. Room. Mm. I cycled through landscapes. Seeing them for the first and last time. I had no idea when I left my home how the season would end. Or more importantly, how soon. What the hell? Get out of here. On a cold, damp day. I feel true loneliness for the first time. Nobody can have described with words how big this world is. How it goes and goes. I passed through it, where others passed before me. What the rain? What's that? Season turns, the reasons behind things might disappear. But the engine may survive. The power is not lost. It's just buried a little. I thought I might change the season by changing the landscape. Cut these down like trees, but they're not. But that's not how the seasons change. Who the fuck tried to this chop this down? The season to change. Why? Mm -hmm. Dude, you see this, this man or whoever did this? I don't know if it was a man or not. Try to cut this thing down. With this little jigsaw or Jack's jigsaw. Okay. 
I try to find shelter or keep going, traveling. So I wonder how much this leak of disease affected the effect of the oil or a little portion of it. Dude. The sound of rain and a little thunder. Sometimes it lasts. What do we got here? Every line is dead. Every wire is cut. I hate the season. They wanted the season to change because they were so lonely. Oh, we're gonna have inspiration here. You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna keep adding because there might be too much stuff. Can you climb up here? Is there a way to get up here? No? Front door open? No. Anything on this side? like me out here alone. I can't really live like this. Ooh, I'm a woman. Your music box started playing right at a scary part on my video and it spooked me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, one voice, one tune, alone in the wilderness can last long. Two voices, a melody, and harmony is enough to survive a little while. Three voices, a community, a song, can last a whole season. They kept themselves company with music. There's another one? Oh, it's the same one. Two voices is like me and my mom. We can survive. Eventually, you oh. need There's three of them. Three voices as complex as life is supposed to be. I could listen. Time seems to pass differently around here. I feel so heavy and so light at the same time. I'm not really alone. I'm with myself. I'm with the earth.
I guess we gotta go that way. I met a driver from a group that that's building a community. I'm leaving with him. Goodbye to the lonesome truck. Goodbye to this lonesome. Looks like they made it out of here. But what is this group? In the empty places, I found companionship in the tapes I recorded before leaving home. The Elder told me the story of her life. I listened back to it, ready to note down anything that seemed important. set the scene for the listener. Whoever that might be. This is the Elder speaking. We're sitting in the plaza, saying goodbye to a dear soul. We're here to see if there's anything useful in my mind that could help you on your trip. A century's worth of memories, dreams, fantasies, visions. It looks like a movie. Like a big, old, haunted library. When I die, this library will burn down. But which book should we check out first? I don't have all the answers, but I do feel the story of my life could help you understand what kind of world is out there. It's okay not to understand everything right away. The moment may pass before you've gotten a firm hold on it. As long as you're there to witness it, to take it down in your journal, you and others to come will someday take the time to make sense of it all. First, I got old. That's an important step. Being an elder is all about how you react to strange events. The key is not to be surprised, but kind of frown, look serious, and say something like, it begins. <laughs> Never say, I don't know. Say, you dive into a pool of uncertainty. I was born on the ocean. My mother and father worked on a cruise ship. The 
short-lived but glorious watery republics. Floating cities. Most won their independence by the time I was born. How can I describe them? They were a jewel of the golden season. Pleasure boats with a radical political program. How nice. The golden age was a time of flags, logos, mottos, mastheads. My mom taught me to read them. She was a ship's philosopher. My dad was a recycling engineer. Recycling on the ship was a matter of life and death. We had to get the most out of every object and watt of energy. These symbols and gestures were layered with meaning. There are signals in the way you might move your hands or close your eyes. Her job was to manage the symbols and their meanings. She designed the ship's flag, for example. Let me draw it for you. After the war, people were disgusted with groups and symbols. Keep an eye out on your trip. I bet you won't see a signal flag flying. Her name was Augusta Kale. I loved the way the ship would tilt and roll with the waves, especially as I fell asleep. It was so comforting. Picture me as a kid in bed, feeling the swaying of the ship. It was like being rocked to sleep as a baby. I loved exploring the ship too, wandering through the suites, the swimming pool, the game rooms, and oh, there were two dance halls, a large elegant one and another one in the basement. A lot of my firsts were down there, my first dance, my first kiss, and so forth. Mm. <laughs> Our ship was taken over in the early days of the war. That was the end of the watery republics. I heard the dance hall in the basement became a weapons cache. It took me half my life to say goodbye to the world I knew in my youth. Imagine me and my parents and everyone I knew being escorted off the ship by a company of soldiers. And I'm thinking, I hope they don't make a mess of my room. I was embarrassed by the younger kids who were crying their eyes out. But they knew, I guess. Yes, the start of the war was a turning of seasons, and we had been warned the season was going to end. Oh, but we didn't understand the warning. You see, one night, along a coastline, we saw beautiful lights shimmering above the water. Later, we found out this was an ancient warning system. It hadn't been used in so long. We didn't know what it meant. We just thought, well, ain't that pretty. We tried to stick together and camped out on the coast of the prismatic grounds. I thought it was all temporary. Couldn't see how things would return to normal. But I was sure they would. Aside from that delusion, I was okay. Are you sure you want me to keep going? The story gets darker from here on. Let's go for it. Okay, so... Uh. Conditions in the camp were getting worse. My mom got lost in thought for long periods of time. She'd be completely still for hours, days even. We realized she caught... The disease? Now we call it time misperception disorder. It's when you lose your ability to tell how much time is passing. A minute can feel like an hour. A day can pass in 10 seconds. Jeez. so hard is the feeling of absolute loneliness. Normally, we're all at least roughly in the same flow of time, but with this disorder, you walk alone, truly. I don't like this disorder at doctor all. doctor who could cure these kinds of diseases. I decided to go find him. I found out his name was Dr. Fumio, and he traveled with his son, Lucio. People talked about him like he was a god. I described my mom's condition to Dr. Fumio. He said there was no cure yet, but there was a village high in the mountains. 
he thought it was high enough, he'd have a better chance at treatment. Lower places are more dangerous. Valleys are the worst. He invited me to join them in going to the village, but I wanted to go back and get my parents and bring them with me. I packed my things and got ready to leave the next morning. At night, my mom came to me in a dream. She was standing in a field of flowers. Thank Crowman's as I last saw her. We were the same height. She pressed a finger hard into my palm. She taught me well. I knew the meaning of the gesture. I knew no matter what I did, I'd never see my parents again. In the morning, I told Dr. Fumio I would follow him to Carroll Village. The next few weeks were very physically tiring, hiking, climbing. And when we found the village, building, planting, cleaning, Fumio brought sick people from all over the world, and they got better. The treatments worked. Everyone was healing. So why couldn't I? One day, we got word the war was over. We never found out how it ended. It was like peace just swept over the earth in a split second. There was a party in the plaza to celebrate the end of the war, but I couldn't bring myself to go. Yes, it was over, but it had taken my home, my family. That night, as I was falling asleep, I felt the bed tilt and sway gently, as if it was being tossed on the waves of the ocean as if I was back in my bedroom on a ship, as if I was back in my mother's arms, being rocked gently to sleep. I knew I was finally home, and nothing could hurt me. Okay. I imagine coming upon a place as hidden and singular as my own village. Eventually, I found myself circling a valley, looking for a way in. I thought it said Thang Valley. <laughs> what was the Thang Valley? This valley is asking people for a visit. It's I just a thing. That's how they say it. So what's cool about Thang Valley? You know, let's do our thing. Just, I guess we're going to the Thang Village. Dang Village Dam, a gift from Prismatic Ground, Electric Peace Project Year, uh, 15, 5, We never used this kind of technology in my village. Nobody trusted it. Okay. She's gonna have some strong ass legs by the end of this journey. Swole ass cat. Is this little thing running for? Can I take this instead? I've heard sounds that can heal the mind. It feels like this noise would do the opposite.
Hello. Oh. The valley. Um, one second. What will happen when we do as instructed and gather around this fake person? Hello. Is that a strodel flop? No. What, what are they called? A strodel flop? What is it? A camera? It's a TR-13. My reporter? TR I love old gear like that. It's getting more and more rare. I had a camera, but it broke. Not that interesting of a story, I guess. No, not at all. What are you doing here? Check out my Instagram. HTTPS colon slash slash www.instagram.com slash s-h-i-b-b-y-w-a-i-t-f-o-r-i-t-b-o-s-s slash. The whole thing, huh? You're young. You, you got time. What kind of stuff are you recording? Hopefully people in the culture, animal landscapes, and whatever catches interest. That's the way to do it, if you ask me. If anyone asks me, I mean. The valley would be a good place to use those tools. Too bad it's closed down. Let me finish up here, huh? Gate up to Team. Uh, here stands the Gate to Team Valley, home of the three mindful gods. As you enter, try to imagine the millions of pilgrims who passed under the gate before they were born. They lived and they died. I'm not the first to do this. Just the first in a long time. Hey. What? This was like a second home for a while. That was fun earlier when you showed up. And I was carrying the cardboard man. You were like, who are these guys? <laughs> I've been pretty bored here. I bet. You know, the valley's gonna be flooded soon. That's why nobody can go in there. The dam is falling apart. couple of days from now. Day zero, we call it. Greyhounds. We're a community organization. We do all kinds of fun stuff. Health clinics, mind sweeping, daycare, evacuations, weddings. We're new. It was supposed to be because we're helpful yet neutral. We took a vote and decided to change the name though. We want something more friendly sounding. I'm excited to find out what it will be. We're trying to get new things going. But it's hard. The past really has a tight grip on people. It doesn't feel like a fair fight. So we're trying to, well, anyway. It's funny, I stood guard here for a week. And I've only seen greyhounds like myself, and valley people on their way out. But now I see you, and you're like a... new element, or something. I've never met anyone doing what you're doing. And uh, we greyhounds gotta support new things. So... Hmm. I'm not supposed to let anyone in. How can I? Jeez. I think you should go down into the valley and take a look. Gotta try something here. Dang it. Dang it. I was trying to wink. <laughs> what? Oh, what? That was your wink? Well, you get the idea. I, I got the idea. I got it. Go on and put that old gear to use. You can take my map of the valley, too. I don't know your name. I don't need it anymore. 
I'll be down to pick everyone up around midnight. See you then. I'll go there. I'll get a good one. I try to wink and I close both my eyes. So now we know the thing. He let me into the valley. Okay. So now they assemble something. So I think he wanted me to record what the Grey Hands were up to, and he gave me a map. The assembly point seemed like a good place to start. I wonder oh. what he expects me to discover in the valley. I guess we'll take this picture later. We'll take this picture here. See what we have here. These respect the residents of Chang Valley. They are not actors or tourist guides or animals, but hardworking folk. Uh, please collect all trash and debris from Krishnari stands before leaving. Garbage, garbage not only clutters the pristine valley, but it's culturally offensive to the local people who do not eat massive uh, processed food or drinks. You don't go to anybody's fucking... I'll think about what kind of visitor I want to be. Like a village in this fucking this... Just trash it. Oh yeah, we're taking that. It seems like I'll have to wait for night to enter the shrine. No, no, no. I wanted, I wanted to finish that. The elder warned me about valleys. She said they were dangerous. I feel a dulcet tension in the air. I enter to see the moment between seasons. Alright, let's bike yet. Yeah, real. No ma'am. Just... 
Oh man, this is gonna be a bitch to get back, backing up. So the dam's gonna go. It's gonna flood this village, Tang Village, in like a couple days. That sucks. We made it here, but we, but we, we made it here. Okay. I'm probably the last person that will ever be welcomed here by this sign. I keep pressing the wrong button. So it's the map. Behold the ceremony of random death. A person is selected an arbitrary from the graveyard, a monk unearths the memory of the pers this person for all to enjoy. Every first Saturday of the month, at the sunrise at the Tang Valley Cemetery. I have wondered about the lives beneath unkept graves. The well trodden path. This very path you stand on on has been the same since the at least year three hundred fifty. Imagine millions of pilgrims walking this humble path to visit the famous Tang Valley Shrine. The elder told me there's very little information about the years before five hundred. All remains all were washed away. All above will remain. All below will wash away. Looks like something wrong with that one, too. Let's get on our bike. Ooh, is this going a different path? Oh, This must be the pond area. Memory flower. Excuse me, what is a memory flower? A memory flower is unique, unique to Tang Valley. Uh, their long history is intertwined with the religious practice in the valley. Stop and listen. You might be surprised by what the flowers have to say. Beauty but dangerous. Remember this helpful memory. Memem memem memory flower few. Who? Memory flower many. Dangerous and plenty. I wonder what the flowers have to say. Can you find any flowers? This one. Oh, we got some over here. Um, what is this? Oh, oh man. Another path this way. Some memory flowers. Oh, my friend. She must have been important to have such an elaborate solitary tomb. 
God of sleep, I've been gathering harpic and I've been gathering courage. If my big prayer is wrong, if it goes against divine will, please spare the people of this valley. We're so desperate for peace. Memory told over and over again. Do we go around? Let's go see if there's a way around because I don't know. Oh, maybe we could just ride a bike that way. Maybe we'll see. We don't want to leave our bike anymore. Check this. Keep on going. Sorry, sorry, we're disrupting your rest of place. Sorry, excuse us. Let's go through here. To the pond. This flower has a shimmering quality. The people here are so weak. I heard gunshots last night. That was us. <laughs> what is that? Look at the pond. The water. What is that pattern? Should we run or something? Something frightening happened in this memory. But what was it? Hungry eyes and empty stomach. Local artists. These metal animals are looking up expectantly. What happened here? Oh shit, I'm floating. Excuse me. The people here are so... Kill the view. Yeah. We're enjoying our bike ride and you have to throw that shit in there. It to me the this game the reason why it's kinda of creepy is like there's barely any people. Like it's so like dead. And then you got flowers that talk. What what what, what what's going on? 
Ooh, the path this way. Ooh, what's down here? No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Before we head anywhere new that way, let's go back here. Oh, yeah. Like you have a whole world, but not a lot of NPC to fill it. Exactly. So this is... What is this? Interested in joining the Greyhands? What would you like to do? What would you like to do? How do you want to spend your infinite precious time on this earth? We will create a position specifically to you. Each Greyhand has their own department. It sounds like they want to adapt their organization to the people in it. Vending machines and our network. Are we at? So we're at here. Where are we going? That's what I want to know. Well, that's the lot of the corn is. Love them, you know. And then the road continues out this way. Oh, so they know it's cracking. For questions regarding the dam. Yeah, they know it's cracking, so they have to. They're just gonna destroy it. There must be a lot of people going to the city if they need to keep track of them with cards. Gather around the Greyhand. That's Imagine the sign if the man speaking. I met is the only living Greyhand, and the rest are cardboard. That, that would suck. That would totally suck. I thought of it. Thoughts on a new season? A, manif a manifest for the future. The Grey yeah. Hands want to end this season. Hey, pick up some of this ship's water and cookies. Oh, I do real. Yep, we have no leaders doing it, doing it right this time. Doing it right, we never, we will never wage war. The weight of the past fall off its sh our shoulders, and we will see the world as it, it, it is if forward. We will hold hands for the right amount of time, not not to be brief, not forever. We will. Build the deuce the next season. So okay. they're going to build the next season. How? Exactly. I'm gonna do that. Alright, so we got this, you know. Yeah. I have it. they have plans for a better future. I don't think we have that. Right? Oh no 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 no. Just like, just like, Oh, yeah. Just a man. There we go. Grey hands are the future in all its uncertainty. The good and the bad. The hope and fear of progress. The loneliness of this season will be left behind. A collective project is coming. Radiant City, I can. It's hard to imagine something new, a new way of living, but they're trying. Thank you for helping my daughter find her journal. You were so stressed. One of your people named Soul really took the time to answer all the questions my kids had. Kids had. He 
he was more patient with them than I am. Thank you for helping an old person like my, me carry all my heavy luggage. I like to be a gray hand when I grow up so I can hold, help people. Okay. That's cool. The gray hands seem to care what people think about them. I see. Uh oh. Yeah, uh oh. We got a conspiracy kind of thing here? What's going on? Lies. There seems to be suspicion about the real condition of the dam and why it's being taken down. Some lies. Someone's, some don't like what they're doing. So we got two ways we can go. We can go down this road, follow this road here, or we can take this path here. I'm going to take the path. I'm going to take the path here. We're taking the little scenic path. Wait, there's, is, there, is there something on the wall? There is. The artist has depicted the Greyhands as a child. They don't have faith in their capabilities, but see them as innocent? Oh, it's, it's a farm. Okay. Hey, cow. We're gonna take a picture of you, cow. Oh, no, that's not bad. Bam. Is that your name on your collar? Let's see, you are magical. Magical? What a unique thing. Hello, cow. You just live your best life. This machine looks powerful. It must have done the work of many people. Is anybody still... No, oh wait, no, I know one moved down here because the whole damn thing. Are you okay? Are you just chilling? Just having a good time? You sleeping? You sleeping? And you are Mata. Can I get a move? Excuse me. How's it? You look like you're stiff as fuck. How do you like living out here knowing that the dam will be gone, uh, be destroyed? Are you okay with that? Would you like to care to comment? Anything. No move, no nothing. I'm not trying. I'm gonna pet you down. Oh, now you awake. Hey, you. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Is... Okay. Uh, that leads... I guess that's the village over there. Right. We'll go there next. Now we got this house. Is that a... There's a cow up there. Let's take a picture of this area here. Nice little, nice little home. We left so much behind. I can still feel life here. Hello. And your name is Tupet. Tupet. I wonder who named you that. Uh, we can't go inside. Can I get a move? I can hear the flies. You are a cow and you were named Krasnahorkai. <laughs> what? Krasnahorkai? 
I can't even pronounce that name. Yeah. Raz and I oh, think we're gonna try. Shabale? Shabale. Ring the bell, yeah. The other bell was better. The sound of this bell has a lot of character. We're being evacuated. They're moving us into an apartment building in Radiant City. There's no room for animals. It breaks my heart, but I have to leave all you here. I got the radio turned to your favorite station. You're always done right by me. Well, that's kind of fucked up. Had to leave so much behind. Cause this place is gonna get flooded. But they gotta leave their animals here. Well, that's. Well, that's shitty. Put up right. Wow, well, we got a big show today. Huge show. Breaking news. The Grey Hands have died. We're being reborn, baby. And we're taking suggestions for our new name. Live on the air suggestions from the rank and fire. You don't even need to be a gray hand to suggest a name. True, true. The number to call is 0019. That is 0019. First caller. That's 0019. I was thinking the bricklayers. Okay. The bricklayers. The bricklayers. Laying some bricks. Hmm. Well, yeah, the... Uh, thanks for the suggestion. We'll be taking them all afternoon, so so keep them coming. That number again is 0019. You're listening to Grey Hand Radio. We are broadcasting live from Grey Hand HQ. And we're going to take a little break. If the Grey Hands are changing their name, you'd know them as something else. That the music guys like? Uh oh. Oh, they're coming. The music of cows. Well, we're gonna leave the music on. Hello, guys. Oh, lovely. Look at all the cows. You gonna move? You gonna move? Let me move. Yeah, give it all that. A beautiful cow named Corp. I love it. I love all that. Right. Go ahead and make this scrap book right here. Picture of the cows here. You know, I should take a picture of all the cows. I'll try to get at least all of them. Here. Compared to my village, they lived in the open here. They lived on the land itself. I hope in the future, at least some people are still living like that. Tractor. Look out. Wow, we got a big show today.
The elder said that people were exhausted by symbols after the war. Is that true here in the valley? There's another path that way. Is that the way we came? I feel like we did. We came that way. Yeah, we came that way. So, oh, but I like it here. Yeah, I believe we came that way. No, we never went that way. Uh, there's this. There's that little drawing. There. Oh, here. Yeah. See this before we have to the, I guess, the valley of the village. Oh, never mind. It's blocked off. They said, nope, never mind. It's not blocked off. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Right. Let's go see what's up here. Gets me every time. I know, right? So, oh, there's no flower. Yeah, let's record this flower. Yeah, I, I recognize you. Yeah. You're the famous doctor. That's your boy, the one with the visions. I'm right, aren't I? I won't tell nobody. We're just passing through. I have a niece. She... She hears things. Voices of the dead. I can't help you. Please, give it some thought. I can't treat anyone here in this valley. This is not a place to get well. Where is? I'm working on that. Take care. It's surreal to find a piece of Dr. Fumio's past so far away from Cairo. Alright, this is the shrine. Do we really have, can I run my bike all the way up the stairs? Yes, I can. This is not how you ride a bike. You can't ride a bike like this. There's no way it's going to be that way to try to ride a bike like This, uh, these atmosphere, atmospheric ruins have been designated as a symbol of the unfathomable nature of the past. What is this? A bridge? Some kind of ad ad I, can, I know the word, I just can't say it. Uh, who built it? Uh, why did it fall apart? Uh, what, we don't know, but we'll live beside this hulking structure for the rest of our lives. From this year, hundred at least, maybe over. Aqueduct. That's what it was. Aqueduct. Okay. Yeah. Such a okay. huge structure. I wish we had more information about the olden days. Just me and my bike. We went to you know temple. Uh, not temple, but shrine. Okay. I smell hay, rust, and old warmth. I hear a bell. I was like, what is it?
music from a trio of performers. The metal, the breeze, and my mind. I didn't even go inside buildings or anything. Oh, the steam and designed as a historical landmark. The Tang Village Shrine is a humble birthplace of the true and local religion. With the discovering of the rituals and the forgotten and the construct of the first statue of an era of psychological assumptions assume, begin at which continues to this day, year 345. This shrine is where it all began. I wonder if there are still monks in there. Opening hour, sunrise and nightfall. Mm -hmm. It'll open at night. So do I have to wait until night? Is there a day and night cycle kind of thing? Dim. symbol and a name, the Din. These stones must represent the three gods of the valley. Their names seem important. Din, Din, Din. Who is Din? We got Void. A different symbol and name, the Void. Sounds ominous. I think anything called the board is ominous. Here we got a Look through. There's a field of purple across the river. What? Is that, the, is that another god? This stone is to worship the tide. The tide, something calm that comes and goes. Let's go get a bike. Continue around this area. This must be for writing something, but what? I can't interact with anything. Where am I bike go? Oh. We'll pack this way. Oh, this is legal. Well, lead us down to that big old statue. Oh, uh, that a face? That's a face. He's showing that. In Cairo, we have a statue to remember Dr. Fumio. But this statue is meant to be worshipped.
Done in your ear. Please keep the soldiers asleep forever. Look at another one. I pray for dreamless sleep. I want to wake up new and not to carry the arms and, li and limbs of dead memory into the morning. Oh, this one. Please let me rest. I hear the electricity in the air. I hear the radio waves. I hear cars moving. On a distant highway. Please let me rest. Oh God. Um. Do this one. Those slips are prayers to this God for sleep. Tide. Tide. Ah. Oh. I prayed to see you again. I didn't expect it would be in a dream. Life listens and then it does what it wants. We have to make do, darling. I've been thinking about how much the season needs you, and how the season after that will need you desperately. I wish I could help. But this is a brief dream. What can we say? Make a pendant for yourself. Oh, that's good. That's a relief. Maybe I won't remember this dream, but I'll try to hold on to the feeling of relief, to carry it into my waking hours. I don't know if you will, but I know I will see you again. For so long, I'll think it'll never happen. I'll almost make peace with having lost you to the world. But then, oh, but then, all the work of my grief undone in a moment, when I saw you again. Oh, I wept, and I laughed. I, someday, you'll have a child of your own. Someday, he'll want to see the village where his mom was born. And I'll be here, waiting for him. We'll stand together, just like this. I'll have a million questions for him. And he'll have a million questions for me. But before we can say a word, I look into his eyes and I'll see you looking back at me. Take care, my darling. It's time to wake up now. This God put me to sleep. I got to talk to my mom. Can I do it again? That didn't seem to work. Oh, well, I guess you can only choose one. <coughs> so I can slip here. didn't seem to work. There's something beautiful about the way the minerals catch the light. Thank you. 
We have Dr. Fumio's cures to negotiate with the exigencies of life as a conscious being. Here, they have a religion. The form changes. Our needs remain the same. One dream is enough for today. Just we're gonna dream every day? Oh, no, I am confused. Oh, well, let's just press on. I guess we can come back here. Because it said that temple doesn't open until nightfall, so. Right, let's go down here. What is that noise? Who is Sonia? What did she do to protect the people of the valley? All my life I've heard solemn references to the war. It never reached our village, but it touched the lives of our grandparents. What happened here in the valley, and how did it end? We did not, we did not begin this war. We did not seek the profit from this war. But but we ended it with the prayer for the silence of peace for sleep. They believe a prayer put the soldiers to sleep. Is that possible? Oh shit, I didn't realize these are fucking soldiers. Oh, uh, well. Okay, well, shit. Just lying on the ground. You never sleep soundly, so soundly. You'll never remember so fondly. You'll never forget so gentle. That last line is kind of disconcerting. Charisma truth pushed into pain when the far wasted refused to join the imperial system. No one imagined the scale of the ensuing conflict. The charismatic long retreat is how has now even reached pain and neutral area of the war will continue. Yep. The people here weren't ready for a war. I don't think anybody is, any, I don't think anybody is ready for a war. <clears throat> the loss. Uh, we pray for those lost in the turmoil of the war. Those who never came home who may be living or may be dead or maybe trapped somewhere between the dead. Uh, we pray for the dead, for those wilted by the act of man, acts of man. 
the main. We pray for the main for the long echoes of pain to succeed. I'm looking at a memorial to the lost, the killed. Music from a trio of performers. The metal, the breeze, and my mind. Officially completed out of gas forever. The year of 17, not even 17, 17, 17. This machine fueled countless tourists motoring into the valley. Supply lines must have been cut off when the war started. Blood. All this will be washed away. This is an actual car. They used to be everywhere. This must be the dream sickness. He'll sleep forever. I guess I gotta get closer to the photo. Let's see this one. Uh, we've been retreating for months. Now we, we, we're stealing food from these poor people. I cannot imagine this continuing, but I cannot imagine how poor and either. I don't know what it's like to be that hungry. I think that's the, uh, the no, no more. The elder showed me this symbol. The soldiers are from the prismatic grounds. Weird. This looks like it was drawn by a child. I waited for you in, in the space between seconds. Saifa? Saifa? Is she still waiting? Someday we live in a world united by your courage. Oh, Their oh. friends and family know what happened to them? No, oh, I want to pick it. Oh. Okay. I don't see. Don't know what photo or something. I mean. This one's so beautiful. Honk honk. I've seen pictures of cars before. They were common in the golden season. This car seems to be named Hong Kong. How did I not see that? The memory of war lingers. 
this, but the Grey Hands are guiding people somewhere else? I wonder if I can take a picture of all of them. Go ahead and mail this one out. This one can mail. Alright. Alright, I think this drawing of a kid's drawing. Hold up. Um. Photo, yeah. Sketch. The scale of the old world grew beyond human proportion, maybe beyond human feeling. The parking lot will never die. I don't know what picture or something to take. My mom told me a story about a special gateway. Passing through it took years off your life, trading time for distance. I suppose I'm doing the same, just very slowly, very gradually. Sleep is the shadow life that connects us all. It gives a cycle to our days. A reset, a reflection, remembering and forgetting at the same time.
think I know what photo I can need to take. This one? What? Oh, I'm not supposed to take a picture of it. Let me turn from this angle here. Yeah, no, I can fuck. I took every picture of every dead body in this place. Just give me parking lot, parking lot. That's not what I need. Mean. In this photo they have Yeah. Okay, so this is only gonna mean two things. One this this photo here. Oh, I am so, oh, 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 I am so sorry. I did not mean to run over here. Stick your body.
this moment. We're going to live. And we're going to remember. I can hear the relief in their voice. This must be after the end of the season of war. I'm stuck when I left. I'll have to get you by close to the I guess it stays automatically. Alright, guys. Well, I think this will be it. A good stopping point. Probably gonna look up what I'm missing over here at this parking garage. Because from the journal, it says it's a picture of a body, but. I pretty much took every picture and every body. Shank, shank. Thank you, thank you. It's just, I don't understand what happened. It was nice did. while editing. Love you, fan. Yeah, love you too. Uh, I just don't know what it wants me to take a picture of here. So I'm probably going to look that up and see what this is and try to get this thing take care of it. But we're, I'm going to stop here and then probably continue maybe maybe this week. We'll probably finish it up pretty soon. Uh, well, depending on me, it'll probably take a little longer. So either I'll finish it up this week or next Tuesday and we'll get back into it. But yeah. Uh, so thanks for joining me. Uh, until next time, guys. Stick it out.